Hello, in today's video, we'll learn how to calculate the moving average. Um, so we have a table here called sales info and we uh, want to calculate the moving average, the, the seven days, seven day moving average. Uh, let's first uh, try to calculate uh, the moving average on a spreadsheet and then we'll, we'll uh, write a query um, later. So let's get started. This is ID, this is date, and this is sales. And then this is going to be called moving average for seven days. Oh, this should also be bold. So we'll uh, start right here and we'll do equals average for seven days. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven day um, moving average. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, let it uh, fill up to the end. So here we have the seven day moving average. Uh, and this is, uh, using a spreadsheet. And now let's write it, let's write a query. So the first thing we want to select is the date. And after we select the date, we need the, the sales. And um, now we need the average uh, sales. We're going to use a window function. So get ready. So over order by we want to order by date, correct? Uh, rows between six preceding, not seven, and current row. And the reason why is because we want um, we want to calculate the sales of the current and the past six days uh, uh, closing sales. If that makes sense, as uh, uh, MA seven moving average seven. All right. And we're going to go ahead and run it and let's copy it into our spreadsheet. And we should have the same uh, values. All right. So if you look right here, uh, that is also 73.71. And we go all the way to the end. This is the bottom. 59.42, 59.42. And that, my friend, is how you calculate the seven-day um, rolling average. Thank you so much.